Hey guys, so unfortunate accidents happen at sea all the time, causing millions of dollars worth of damages, but they are rarely able to be witnessed. Today, I'll tell you about the most horrible shipwrecks in the world, the Sea Grand Cargo Ship. On February 28, 2019, an intoxicated captain steered the Russia cargo ship Sea Grand into the Guangan Diego Bridge in Busan, South Korea. The ship crashed into the bridge and stopped all movement on it. Repairs cost billions of dollars. Japanese Patrol Boats On August 15, 2012, a fishing boat with 14 Chinese activists on board entered contested waters near Hong Kong. Two Japanese Coast Guard patrol ships were sent to intercept it, resulting in the fishing boat being captured. MSC Opera In 2019, the huge MSC Opera 30-deck cruise liner lost engine control, leading it to crash into a small boat called the River Countess. This incident happened in Venice, Italy. The ship crashed into the dock, then into the small boat with a crunch sounding like it was made of paper or plastic. Vita Spirit In 2018, the crew of one ship filmed how a 740-foot tanker approached a coastal 18th-century mansion, costing a million dollars. They say the Vita Spirit even dropped its anchor to stop, but it wasn't enough. The tanker crashed into the historical monument, damaging part of the roof and the building's coating. Tolonay and SG-25 In 2017, the Tolonay crashed into a Turkish Coast Guard ship. The Tolonay's bow hit the smaller boat. This collision with the SG-25 Coast Guard ship flipped the small ship upside down and the Tolonay didn't even try to stop. Stellar Banner On February 24, 2020, the giant Stellar Banner tanker went aground and seriously damaged its starboard side. The crew evacuated the tanker, and the ship was put back in the water so an emergency rescue team could take the cargo out. The cargo was 3,500 tons of oil and 275,000 tons of iron ore. It turned out that the ship wasn't fixable and will be sunk. SCL Virginia and Ulysses On October 7, 2019, the container ship SCL Virginia crashed into the ferry Ulysses, creating a massive hole in the tanker's hull. The thick, raw oil poured out through the breach and spread out along beaches near Corsica. The accident happened because someone on board the Tunisian Ulysses was talking on the phone when the accident occurred and didn't notice the SCL Virginia lowered its anchor in an unusual place. Unbelievably, the tanker appeared on the ferry's radar over an hour before the accident, and the SCL Virginia also lit its signal lights. Yogi the mega yacht Yogi that cost $39 million also had a large marine accident. This fashionable ship sunk due to an engine overheating and after the aft door jammed and water started flooding the ship. When the second engine shut down, the ship sunk in just five hours. No crew member was harmed, but they were all a bit wet. Carnival Glory and Carnival Legend In December 2019, Passengers on two cruise liners were dumbstruck by the collision of their two ships in a port in Cozumel, Mexico. Carnival Glory tried to leave the dock when the bow of the smaller Carnival Legend poked a hole in its aft part, pulling a part of the coating off. No one knows why this incident occurred, but officially, bad weather and strong wind are to blame. The Excellent Cruise Ship The cruise ship Excellent crashed into a large cargo barge. The workers rushed to safety when one of the giant cranes on the boat fell right on the cargo, starting a fire. The horrible weather and rough sea were to blame for everything. The Cargo Ship Crusher Now this video shows how the giant cargo ship suddenly appears. It heads right for a ship in the dock, crashes into it, and crushes it like a soda can. Cargo Ship Crash this crash happened because one of the cargo ships tried to pass by too close near the other cargo passenger ship, the Girolata. The passing ship's aft portion got caught on the other's lifeboats. Now, no one was hurt, but the damages were substantial. Hansa Constitution Sometimes accidents happen on ships that haven't even set sail yet. 
In April 2014, the 606-foot container ship, the Hansa Constitution, broke its course and went to the Hong Kong University soccer field. Entire clouds of rust flakes started coming off the anchor chains when the giant ship stopped right on the field. The responsibility was placed on the loss of power and a strong wind. MOL Comfort In July 2013, the cargo ship MOL Comfort was carrying 4,382 full-sized containers and 7,041 smaller containers. The ship was heading from Singapore to Saudi Arabia, but the ship was overloaded and the hull started breaking in half. One Apis Cargo Ship However, cargo ships might be in extreme situations and not break apart in the water. The One Apis ship ran into a strong Pacific storm. The entire load of 14,006 one meter, about three feet, containers shifted. 1,816 containers filled with batteries and fireworks and two more filled with liquid ethanol sank into the sea forever. The losses cost over $200 million. Luckily, no one was hurt and the ship was able to return to port. MV Reina In October 2011, in New Zealand, a cargo ship with containers and raw oil on board ran into the Astrolabe Reef, leading to the most serious marine ecological catastrophe in New Zealand. The ship started seriously careening and rocking in the waves. Over 88 containers, some containing dangerous chemicals, fell into the sea, and several others were thrown onto the coast. The captain and his first mate spent seven months in prison for commanding the ship to cause danger for people and property on board. Florence Spirit and Alanis What do you think the captains of these two ships did? It looks like they were playing some kind of game. Well, if they were, uh, they both lost. It's pretty clear in the video that the heavy Alanis ship weighing 12,700 tons and the cargo ship Florence Spirit weighing 14,000 tons were confidently heading straight for each other. The two ships crashed and made an incredible crunch. But luckily no one was hurt and both ships stopped after the crash. So what do you think happened? Salam 98 So this terrible shipwreck happened on February 3rd, 2006. The ship was carrying over 1,300 passengers and 103 crew members, but sunk in the Red Sea with 1,101 people losing their lives. The ship was going from Duba, Saudi Arabia to Safaga, Egypt. Most of the passengers were Egyptians working in Saudi Arabia and going home with their earnings. The ship's captain, Saeed Omar, was to blame. A fire had broken out on the upper deck and the ship was near the coast, but the captain decided to continue on to the Egyptian port. What a powerful reminder of the value of life. And now you know what an undertaking it is to move people or cargo across dangerous seas. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave us a like and a comment, and we'll see you again next time.